Okay, so now that we've got our display controls in place, let's go ahead and just set up some basic overall controls so we can get our master control parameters promoted up to our asset and our hip control parameters promoted up to the asset in this video. So I'm going to bring up the type properties for our goblin. Let's maximize these because we're going to be spending the entire time within this window. I'm going to create a new folder underneath our goblin but above the display folder. And let's collapse all of the folders except for our goblin folder. And I'm going to give this the name of master control. And inside the master control folder I want to promote up the translate, rotate and uniform scale of our master control. So let's hunt down our master control. So master control and inside its transform folder I want its translate, rotate, uniform scale. I do want to turn off prefix linked parameter name and prefix linked parameter label. We can promote those into the master control folder. I'm going to leave their labels the same because I'm going to use folders or little labels inside certain folders to denote what these parameters relate to. So we know it's translate inside the master control folder. Hey, that must be translate for the master control. It's better than trying to squeeze in something like master control translate into a label. However, I am going to rename the actual names of the parameters so that we don't end up with T2, T3, T4 as we go through promoting things up. So I'm going to give this the name of master control T for translate, R for rotate, and US for uniform scale. So that's our master control parameters. I then want to create another folder and that's going to be between our master control and display folder. This will be our torso folder and inside here I'm going to start off our torso controls by creating our hip control. So I'm going to create hips and inside the hips folder I want to promote up the translate and rotate of our hips. So let's hunt down our hip control inside the transform folder, translate and rotate, promote that up into our hips, keep the names, but I'm going to rename the actual parameter names to hip control T for translate and R for rotate. If we accept that and OK through the warning that comes up, jump up to see our asset at asset level. There we go. We can see we have a master control folder a torso folder with our hips folder starting off our torso folder and a display folder that we created earlier. I can right click and save our operator type, right click and match the current definition. And now you're going to see that we need to have promoted up parameters to our asset in order to control any of these control objects. If I was to grab our head control, notice that we're not allowed to move our head control. But if I grab my master control, that lets me move the master control because of the fact that the master control has had its translate parameter promoted up. Something that I really like when working with digital assets in Houdini is if I now grab the hips control, watch what happens over in our parameters. It automatically takes me to a folder that has the parameters for the hip control inside them. If I jump to the master control, it automatically takes me to that folder. This makes working with assets very, very nice. If we keep things organized such that inside a folder you have the majority of the controls you want to work with when working with a particular part of the asset, that means if you grab a control object, for example, the hips, then you're going to see the parameters that relate to the hips. It will take you straight to that folder. So I really, really do like that feature. Anyway, that is going to conclude the setup of our master control and our hips control. We'll continue adding more and more parameters to our asset over the next few videos. So with that, thanks a lot.